Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, we got to turn off the music. Hold on. We're about to do that. Bonjour tout le monde. Comment ça va? J'espère que tout va bien. Jay's dancing for us, guys. There. Even though the music's off, he's still dancing. There we go. You've got your dance. So you're going to have to rewatch the video for this dance, guys. I've got you on camera, hon. There you go. And there was no music. And he still did a great dance. Oh, and Sonia just shared the dance, so. Yay, Jay, Leah says. Go, Jay, Cindy says. Well, May, you said you haven't seen Jay dance, so now you're going to have to go. <laughs> Nancy says, love it. Dancing because it's Friday. You know, if you get one day leads into another for us here. <laughs> Yeah, there were only a few on. So those of you who are going to want to see Jay dance, you're going to have to go back and watch the beginning. Donc, pour ceux de vous autres qui ont manqué la danse de Jay, il faut retourner au début. Yeah. <laughs> Jay est en forme. Uh, Vicky wanted to know who you were dancing with. He was dancing for all of you guys. Vicky, that was your dance class. You forgot to show up. Deirdre said that was wonderful. Oh, Michelle said it was worth the wait. There you go. Hi, Helen. Bonjour, Brigitte. Hi, Karen. So good news, guys. I will be able to sell this album as a kit, okay? So um, I'm just, I have to find out from Francine if I'm going to have to do a little video showing you how to install the pages or if she found that in reading the instructions, it's good enough, okay? Parce que uh, juste pour mettre chacune des pages dedans, Je veux savoir si elle trouve que les instructions étaient parfaites ou si elle a été besoin d'une vidéo pour le faire. OK? So, I am going to check to see if that can be done without a video. Um, but this album will be available for purchase. It's probably, I want to say, about $75 environ. Pour tout, pour finir ça. Je pense la seule chose, et je vais essayer de trouver quelque chose, la seule chose qui va manquer, c'est le euh, rubin. Mais je vais essayer de trouver quelque chose. So, if you're interested, send an email to Jay. He is keeping track of everybody who uh, is interested in taking the class, okay? So please send your emails to Jay so that he will know who wants the class with the instructions. Oh, maman, les instructions sont en anglais. Donc, si tu penses ça, c'est le ça, c'est trouble. Il faut penser à ça d'avance. What am I doing wrong? That's what I'm doing wrong. J'ai oublié de fermer la page ici. Voilà. See, the album can't fold. You think, Karen, you all have ribbon? I don't know. You're speaking for a lot of people. On parle pour beaucoup. Il y aura, il y aura une kit pour l'album? Oui, Brigitte. Je vais avoir une kit pour l'album. Il est trop beau. Okay. All right. Now, I did also tell you that this is going to be a class. Okay. Ce, Cela, il va être un cours. Donc, je vais vous montrer les nouveautés de Elizabeth Crafts aujourd'hui. Et je vais vous dire qu'est-ce qu'il faut pas acheter si vous pensez de suivre le cours. Okay. So, uh, this here... 
is going to be a class. We are going to work with this board box, book box. And we are going to just make some fun projects inside. It's just for, for a lot of fun. It's for some inspiration, etc. Give you some ideas how else to use your planner dies. So if anybody is interested in this class, um, then uh, you will, I guess you will, um, sorry, you will see, hopefully I can do registration next week. J'espère de, je veux juste voir que j'ai tous les morceaux avant de faire l'inscription. So before I do any kind of registration, I just want to make sure that I have everything in stock. And I will tell you what you shouldn't buy if you're thinking of taking the class. Okay? Next. I need to show you this. So for those of you, pour ceux de vous autres, qui ont vu cette daille de Vicky P, mais l'ont pas acheté, okay? Parce que c'est le maîtresse. Il vient avec tous ces morceaux de parapluie. So it comes with all these pieces of the umbrella and all these beautiful flowers. Okay? They are even changing the packaging. Les nouveaux paquets, il va avoir le parapluie. Il va être pas ça, mais plus proche à ça. So the new packaging is going to have an umbrella with all flowers in it. So it's going to be very cool. Must be make the cover the same way or you have options. Well, you are going to be given a stamp set in the class and you will be given a pack of paper. So if you want to change that, you can. Also, you can uh, add more color to her. It's really just to, um, when you take a class, because listen, I take so many, you don't always love everything in it, okay? You don't always love every product you work with. It's about learning the technique. So because I love this paper line and I do really like the stamp sets, I said, I would love to teach this class because it's another thing that you could use. Okay, so uh, it shows you ways that you can use some of your planner dies that you might not think of. So that's what I really thought um, about doing this. But yeah, you can you can make it Alice Cindy for sure. So here, uh, avec cette matrice là et donc uh, excuse moi, j'ai pas traduit ce que Cindy m'a demandé. Elle a Elle m'a demandé si il faut faire la couverture même façon. J'ai dit non. Vous pouvez changer parce que vous allez avoir un set des tempes vous-même. Donc vous pouvez faire la couverture comme vous voulez et vous pouvez faire des changements dedans. Mais souvent on suit le cours pour la technique et pour les informations qu'on va recevoir à part de les produits au lieu de juste les couleurs choisies pour nous, OK? Donc, oui, la boucle était rose parce que le papier était rose. Pas plus que ça. I probably would have put a purple one. But, you know, sometimes you're just working in the constraints of, c'est juste pour avoir des idées. So that's what that's about. All right, so back to these beautiful... Um, dies from Vicky P. So if you are hesitating on this one, it, it is called Umbrella Bloom. Okay. On a fait celle-ci avec cette matrice-là. Tu peux le voir. Elle est utilisée sur la trouée. So you see this one with all the holes. Then we have this one. Okay. So that one is using this. And cette matrice là, okay, que il fait ça ici. Donc le matrice elle-même, tu le découpes juste en haut de votre page. You would just cut out on top of your paper, 
and it makes it look like it's raining hearts down on your umbrella, okay? So that's what this one is done with. And there's your hello, okay? Le souhait hello, il vient avec. Also, you see there's raindrops raining down on your umbrella. So that would be this card here. Même parapluie. So, même parapluie. L'autre mot qui est dans le set. Puis, on a ça de le set de souhait. So, that one is in the set of sentiments. Okay? So, these two come together. Les deux viennent ensemble. Donc, vous pouvez avoir le pluie ou l'écart, mais ils viennent ensemble, ces deux-là. Okay? So, beautiful. And then... We have this one, encore fait avec les fleurs, encore fait avec cette parapluie. Donc, on utilise la base, puis on met les morceaux par-dessus. So, you use the base, and then you're going to put these pieces right on top of the base. You've got your poignet, you've got your handle here. All that is in there. Here, the word hello was embossed, okay? And le fond which is a 3D embossing folder. Look how, how uh, profound. You see how deep those that is, or how high those are raised, those water drops? That is the raindrops embossing folder. Really cool. Okay, really, really cool. So very, very, very fun. Francine got to take this class because I don't like all these little pieces, and she does. So great job, Francine. She uh, put these all together. So beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Another one was the Sizzix class. Okay. Et ça, c'était pour les 3D, les plioirs de gaufrage trois dimensions. Donc, vous voyez une en arrière là. So you see that beautiful 3D embossing folder in the back there? Then we have this one here. Okay. Et ceux-là sont toutes, quand on suit un cours avec Sizzix, ils nous donnent seulement le papier blanc. La restant, on met avec de l'encre. So when they give us this, we always get only white paper. And the rest we ink up with distress inks or any of your favorite dye inks. Okay, so that's one of the embossing folders. And then this is another one of the embossing folders. So you see what it looks like? So what we what they did is they used the back side. Okay, donc avec un brayer, ils ont mis la peinture par-dessus de le verso de l'image. Donc, ça, c'est le morceau gaufré. This is the raised side. And then they turned it over and they used a brayer with some paint. So, you don't want it dripping paint, but you use a brayer with some paint over the top. And look how beautiful that just blends in. Okay. So, I'll tell you the name of those two embossing folders. They are the newest ones from Sizzix. And they are, they should be here unless they're up front. They're here. So one of them is, is Palm Repeat. So we've got Palm Repeat is this one. And the other one, L'autre s'appelle Delicate leaves, feuilles délicates. Okay? Donc, ça, c'est ces deux-là. Maintenant, pour les nouveautés, et je vais amener mon projet pour vous montrer les nouveautés de Elizabeth Crafts, puis certaines choses qui ont revenu en stock. So what I will tell you is this is a completely different kind of line for Elizabeth Crafts. Um, it really uh, is a new artist for them. And I really like it. I love the vintage images. So first I'll show you what came back in is ink 
with journaling cards. Okay, les temps est revenu en stock. The alphabet tabs. Okay, ça c'est quand vous voulez faire vos mots vous-même sur vos pages ou pour chaque page dans ton journal. This is the library pocket file filler cards. Filler cards. Et ça c'est qu'est-ce qu'on va utiliser dans notre box, book box. Okay. And that is the book box. Okay. That is the book box. Voilà. Yes, you can use the letters twice. Okay. Donc, quand vous faites poinçonner sur là, la lettre sort aussi. Okay. So, you get the letter as well. So, you can leave it open like that or you can put another color letter in. You can really get double duty out of those dies. All right. The new one from Elizabeth Crafts. So, we've got... English countryside. She doesn't have them on the back, so we have the glare. I love the lady with the parasol. I absolutely adore her. I love the butterflies. Okay. Et ce que j'aime ici avec cette image, on, on a le clé, on a la dame. Avec cette image, oui, on a le, je vais dire le chevreuil, le, la reine, je ne sais pas. Mais aussi, on peut utiliser avec lui ou juste la bannière. So, with this one, you can cut, you can stamp it and you can use them separately. Or you can take off the uh, deer, the vintage deer here, and you can use just that ribbon because you can see that they put it very simply behind the ribbon. So that ribbon is beautiful, okay? So this is called English Countryside number two. Et oui, j'ai eu la matrice aussi, okay? Donc le set des temps est 24,95 et le matrice 27,95, okay? So that's that. The one that we use in the class is English Countryside number one, okay? So that is the one we are going to use in the class. So, si vous suivez le cours, vous allez recevoir ça dans ton kit de cours. So if you're following the class... Um, a lot of things will be pre-cut for you, except for your images, okay? Donc, ces images-là, vous allez recevoir cette kit des temps dans le cours. So, the beautiful butterfly, the bee, these two beautiful frames, and this bouquet of flowers, all that will be given to you in the class, okay? So... Achète pas si vous pensez de suivre le cours. Don't buy this if you're thinking of taking the class. Okay? Le matrice, il va pas être donné dans le cours. Vous pouvez l'acheter pour aller avec les temps, mais ça va pas être donné dans le cours. On va avoir quelques-unes disponibles pour les morceaux qu'il faut découper. So you won't have to fussy cut anything in the class. We will have these available to cut out your images. Okay? So if you're taking the class, you won't have to do fussy cutting. This will actually be available in the class to cut the images. Okay? Donc, c'est ça. Mais vous allez pas partir avec le matrice. You will not leave with the die. You will leave with the stamp. Vous allez partir avec les temps. Okay? This one, I'm loving this telephone. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving that old-fashioned telephone. The inkwell, the, um, la plume ici, the, uh, what do you call it? Well, it's a feather, but it's a feather pen. Quill. 
There you go, le quill. Voilà un papillon or a moth. Et ça dit hello darling, mais le mot est pas attaché, je pense. Je pense que vous pouvez utiliser le cadre sans le mot. So there you go. That's another set. Et oui, j'ai commandé le matrice avec. Then we've got um, the sugar or well, cream and sugar set. Cream and sugar. Okay. Encore, on a des cadres. Des beaux cadres. Puis le détail. Il sort très bien. So this detail comes out really great when you uh, stamp it. And the detail on these, uh, this pot and teapot and uh, dice. Um, oh, I'm losing my words, guys. I have done so many classes this week and so many meetings. So my the teapot and the teacup, you will see all that beautiful detail. Okay, so gorgeous, encore le matrice. And then the last one is Lord's Light, okay? Doesn't he look like the cowardly lion? He's so handsome, le lion. Ça me fait penser à, à le lion de, um, soit uh, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, ou celle de the Wizard of Oz. Cup and saucer. Yeah, teacup. That was the word, Cindy. You got it. On a le ange. On a les cherubs. Trust in the Lord. On a le libelul. Puis on a un autre petit cadre. Okay. Puis on a le matrice de celle-ci aussi. So this is the new Elizabeth Crafts. It is a very vintage, old-fashioned line, okay? I love it. I realize some of you are going to love it. Some of you are not. And that's okay. Because it is a style all its own. So, ah, bonjour, France. Donc, je viens de montrer les nouveautés de Elizabeth Crafts, qui est complètement différent de les originales ou les réguliers de Elizabeth Crafts. C'est un nouveau artiste, mais je trouve que les éléments qu'elle a mis sur ces étampes-là sont originales, délicats, puis c'est ça qu'on va utiliser pour avoir, pour faire le cours ici. Donc, bonjour Isabelle. Donc, si vous voulez suivre le cours avec moi, donc si on veut, vous voulez suivre ce cours-là, achète pas le, le étampe qui s'appelle English Countryside Number One. OK? So, do not buy English Countryside Number One if you are going to take the class. That's all. La balance, vous pouvez le prendre. OK? Donc, tout ça est disponible dès maintenant. All right. I'm going to show you the paper pack. As usual, it's gorgeous. Um, it is, you'll get two of each sheet. I thought they were beautiful stamps. Thank you, May. I really like them. All right. So, this is uh, the Elizabeth Crafts new paper line. I love this paper pack. Donc, tout de suite, on a cette feuille-là, qui est comme une mauve. On a celle-ci. Voilà le verso. OK. Dans le cours, on va vous donner euh, une, comme un tiers de le paquet. Donc, tu vas avoir quelques-uns pour utiliser. Mais tu vas le pas avoir juste un paquet pour vous-même, uh, juste pour regarder chez vous. So you'll get about a third of the package in the class, but you won't have it, you know, at home in its entirety 
to fondle and admire like everybody likes to do with paper. Okay? Donc, si vous voulez faire ça, il faut acheter un paquet. But don't worry, I ordered a lot. This paper pack, I know. And when we got it, we were just cutting it up and, you know, it did break my heart at first. Mais quand j'ai réalisé qu'il y en a deux pages de chaque dans le paquet, j'ai souffrir moins. All right, so that is, look at the roses, okay? Look at these torn roses or distressed roses on this paper. It's incredible. Donc ça, c'est le paquet de papier. Et comme j'ai dit, vous recevrez deux de chaque. Aussi, c'est fun de découper ces morceaux-là. So it's also fun to cut out the pieces on the front of your paper pack. So jette-le pas, OK? Il faut découper ceux-là parce que vous pouvez faire un très bon layout avec. All right. Next. Pink Fresh inks are back in stock. Okay, so we have got Fairy Dust. We have got Heartbeat. We have got Rise and Shine. We have got Indian Summer. We have got Island Oasis. We have got Garden Stroll. We have got Morning Sky. Starry Night, Urban Raincoat, and Wild Truffles. Okay. Si vous aimez faire des dégradés de couleurs, sont parfaits pour ça parce que vous avez un beau choix. Something that is very popular with pink fresh people are these sentiments because they are already pre-foiled for you. So you have, I'm happy for you. We are friends. Happy to be your friend. You are brave. Be happy and smile. Let's celebrate you. Donc vraiment des souhaits très jolis, déjà avec le foil dessus. So very beautiful foiled ones. Then we have hello. And happy birthday in the hot foil plates. That is what it's going to look like. Vous pouvez aussi faire la gaufrage au lieu de l'embossage, si vous voulez. So you can emboss these in, uh, uh, au lieu de, pas la gaufrage. Vous pouvez faire la gaufrage au lieu de la mettre dans une machine à un glimmer. Okay, so instead of foiling these, You've never fondled your paper, Nancy? Oh, my God. You've got to. You've got to just fondle it, hoard it, and fondle it again and treat it well. So um, these are hot foil plates. And then these are some basic shapes of Pink Fresh that I find that every time we take a Pink Fresh class, they are the ones that the teachers always use, okay? Même quand Diana fait un cours, des choses comme ça, ça c'est les, les bases, ok? So, they are base, they are definitely a, um, a must, and they're very reasonably priced. Donc, ceux-là s'appellent Diagonal Stitched Circles, ok? Donc, ça, ça va vous donner des cercles comme ça. All right, beautiful, beautiful circles. This one is gorgeous, okay? Ça, c'est le fancy oval frame. Fancy oval frame. Control yourself, Nancy. You can go, you can do it. I love all of these, Helen. They are so popular. Blanket stitched squares, okay? Blanket stitched squares. Donc, chaque matrice coupe 
uh, fait le stitching sur les deux morceaux. So the stitching will go on the piece that remains and the piece that comes out of the die. So, voila. Then we have our blanket stitched ovals. Blanket stitched ovals. Okay. A blanket stitched rectangles. Donc, ceux-là sont toujours, toujours très populaires. Then we've got our blanket stitched slimline and mini slimline. Donc, ils ont mis les deux formats de slim dans um, la même paquet. Okay. So you've got your mini slimline size and your full slimline size in one package. Okay. Et ceux-là, c'est pour faire des tags, mais aussi facilement, vous pouvez faire des shakers, des choses comme ça. Euh, vous pouvez faire un tag qui ouvre. Donc, tu l'as encore, le, comme ça coupe deux à une fois, ils restent ensemble. Tu colles les deux ensemble, tu mets ton fenêtre sur le devant, ça fait la couture autour et vous avez un fenêtre. So you can get this, so these will stick together, you would add glue around here. You get your window cut out, you can do the circle or the square. You get the stitching around the outside and uh, you can make a shaker card out of it, a shaker tag out of it. You can just do whatever, any lawn fawn design in here, any company's design, florals, anything. So this is a very practical, they call it the foldable shaker tag die. Foldable shaker tags. Okay, voila. With that, of course, we sold out of all the Pink Fresh gems. You guys loved these. So we've got Jewels Sunshine. Après ça, nous avons le Saphir. Then we have Ocean Breeze. This beautiful black qui est comme iridescent, called Stargazer. Then we've got, I believe these are iridescent, wait, Glacier. Un autre bleu, et donc ceux-là sont tous le AB, donc sur le Aurora Borealis, ça dit que les réflexions sont toutes iridescents. So this is sky blue, bleu ciel. Oh, this reminds me that St. Patty's Day is coming up. Comme on voit vert, puis on voit jaune. Donc, des beaux reflets. You get such beautiful reflection in them. This one's called Emerald City. Then we've got this gorgeous purple, lavender, lavender. Then we've got Peach Fuzz, Peach Fuzz. Now we go into their pearls. Donc ceux-là sont dorés, mais sont pas uh, glacés, OK? Donc ceux-là sont mat. Ça s'appelle Matte Gold Metallic Pearls, and it looks like something opened in my shipment. Then we've got metallic pearls en argent. On a les métalliques en or. Après ça, I love these. They're like a cappuccino, which reminds me, I need my coffee. Sparkling champagne. Okay, sparkling champagne. These here look like glass balls. OK? Vraiment, sont clear drops iridescents, mais sont très originales. The look of them are quite incredible. They just look like 
crystal clear drops. Et on a reçu quelques-uns de les glitter gems. Donc ça, c'est amethyst, le mauve. Ceux-là sont pailletés, mais dedans. Then we've got butterscotch. Après ça, nous avons aqua. Aqua. Et cette beau fuchsia. Non, magenta. Magenta. OK. Beautiful. Bonjour, Diane. All right. Then we have this beautiful pink 4x6 flip book album. And we got restock of our 6x8 flip books in a red and navy. OK. De Dina Wakely, j'ai eu son scribble sticks. Ça, on n'avait pas uh, depuis quelques mois. So, they are watercolor crayons, water-soluble crayons. Um, Dina loves to draw and then color and smear with these. So, you could definitely look them up. Dina shows a lot of techniques with her scribble sticks. So, we just got back in a few packages of each. There is kit one, two, and three. One, c'est les couleurs originales, OK? Tu l'as ton blanc, ton noir, ton gris et les couleurs primaires, les originales, les douze originales de Dina. La deuxième contient les couleurs qu'elle a sorties, la deuxième batch de couleurs qu'elle a sorties. C'est là que vous avez des variations des couleurs. So here's where you get a little bit of variation of colors. So she'll have a second shade of orange, a second shade of red. A, um, vous avez le uh, fuchsia in here. You'll have a second shade of purple. So this is her second set, set numéro deux. Puis la troisième set qu'elle a sorti est les six pastels. So you've got, I believe, I'll check my memory. Carnation, heather, uh, mineral, aloe, sand, no, sand, sorry. Sand, heather, um, mineral, aloe, carnation, carnation and apricot. There we go. Et ceux-là sont les métalliques qu'elle a sorti. OK, son rosy, son um, gilt, toutes ces couleurs métalliques. OK, so that's what's in those. The other thing I got back in were Dina's masks. Donc, on a parlé beaucoup à part de le masque et stencil. Quand on a les deux morceaux, c'est beaucoup plus pratique. C'est comme on, on reçoit deux pour un. So we've talked a lot about the using the um, mask and the stencil so i ordered back in dina's profiles okay i really thought this was a very versatile stamp set this one you've seen me use j'ai utilisé cela dans plein de vidéos et encore on a les deux morceaux so this one is called things that grow Et dernièrement, c'est le alphabet. Puis encore, on peut faire plein de techniques parce qu'on a le masque et le stencil. So this one's called alpha masks. OK? Pour l'alphabet. Puis chaque lettre est oh, au moins deux pouces de haut. And then for her collage papers, I love them. They're like papier tissu. Uh, qui ont des dessins dessus déjà. And this, uh, these are all printed in black. Vous avez deux feuilles de chacune, donc 20 pages dans le paquet. Ça s'appelle Text Collage. Ça, c'est tout le texte. And then this one is Church Doodles. Et vous allez tout avoir tout ça avec des visages puis tout. OK? So... That's Dina. Um, we got in these transfermies. 
que vous avez vu, on a utilisé sur euh, la page que Francine a fait de Dress My Craft, OK? Où on a utilisé une image ici et le même image sur le, le verso. Are these collage papers new? No, they're not new, Marie. Ils sont déjà, uh, sont des vieilles. OK? But this is new. I didn't have this before. Um, also on that page, même sur le layout, on a utilisé le dentelle. Puis j'ai vu qu'ils vendent dans un paquet. Je m'excuse, je ne me souviens plus combien est dans le paquet. Il y a au moins une verge. One meter. So I think there's at least a meter in here. And it is a beautiful, beautiful um, kind of crocheted ribbon. Okay. Then we've got this corner rounder. Okay. It, it makes all three corner sizes. Okay. Donc c'est un outil qui fait trois différents formats de coin. Here's a paper trimmer. I like this paper trimmer. Premièrement, pour le prix, 31,95. C'est 12 pouces, euh, 12 pouces de long, mais aussi 6 pouces de large. Souvent, les tranches, euh, la base finit à 5 pouces. Donc, quand on veut faire cinq et demi, c'est un peu difficile. So, often a lot of the trimmers, even though they have pull-out rulers, their base is only five inches. So, when you need to cut five and a half, it's often a little tricky. So, you got to start pulling out the ruler or etc. So, I like that this goes to a full six inches. I like that you get a blade and a scoring blade, Okay. So you have both on here. I did get the refill blade and scoring blade. Now, I used mine with chipboard. Hi, Mel. Bonjour, Nathalie. I used mine with chipboard and I cut through. I kept going back and forth until it cut my chipboard. Moi, j'ai utilisé avec le chipboard. Puis moi, je pense c'est à cause de ça que... Uh, je, je pense que c'est à cause de ça que la mienne était uh, vite. Il faut être changé. But I don't think that would be the case if you didn't use thick chipboard like I did. So I had to change my blade pretty quickly. Um, and I thought, oh, well, that's why, because it's an inexpensive. But no, I think it was because I used really thick chipboard. And that's what I think it was. Okay. Uh, somebody asked me to get in Tim's old, old Snowfall Speckles embossing folder. Ça, c'est avant les trois dimensions et les texture fades et tout ça. Donc, ça a l'air vraiment euh, différent que les nouveaux. But very popular still. Donc, ça va, ça va faire la gaufrage de tous ces petits poids-là. Okay, then these are the magnetic sheets that can go in some of the Sizzix folders, um, envelopes, okay? And these fit in the storage envelope, which is sold separately. That is the size. Hang on. Je vais trouver la format. Ceux-là sont 5 et 3 quarts fois 7 et 5 huitièmes. Donc, il faut que vous avez les enveloppes qui sont 6 par 8. OK? And that is, you get, for 24,95, il y en a 3 feuilles dedans. 3 euh, feuilles aimantées décoratives. Donc, sur le côté décoratif, vous pouvez coller vos étampes. Et sur l'autre côté métal, euh, magnétique, vous pouvez coller vos matrice. Okay, so that's stamp and die. I then just got in Hero Arts. They started making um, packages as well of storage envelopes and, hang on, 
Hang on. I'm just in the midst of doing this. If I can open it. With, uh -oh, without tearing the box. Jay hates when I tear the box. Jay, can you open this? Because I'm going to tear the box, and I know how much you love that. Okay. I didn't realize it opened so easy on the top. This one I got. It's the other one. I started tearing the envelope on the back. Voila! So this comes. You get your envelope and you get your magnet okay donc l'aimant est dedans il y en a 10 dans le paquet il est plus mince que l'autre je vous dis tout de suite c'est ça la différence sont plus petits aussi so it is definitely smaller okay and it is thinner parce que ils ont pas mis un couche en arrière pour Uh, les, les étampes. Ça, c'est vraiment que vous pouvez mettre vos dailles dessus et c'est tout. But if you're in the midst of organizing dies, especially standalone dies, uh, this is not a bad deal. I think it comes out, I'd have to check because there's no price on this. Jay, do you have the price on these two? Uh, mais il y en a 10 dans le paquet. OK. Et je pense que c'est comme 30 dollars. Donc, ça dit 3 dollars pour pochette et Emma. So, for those of you looking for a storage system, which I am trying to seal up now, do you know the price on these two Hero Art ones? Yes. Can I know them? Donc, voilà. They really stick well because they're stuck together. Et la format de ceux-là, oh, it's on there. See? 30 et 75, so 30, 75. And these are 10, donc le feuille aimanté, c'est 4 et 1 quart fois 6 et 1 quart. And the uh, enveloppe est 5 par 7. OK? Dans le petit, le petit, Plaque aimantée est 3 et 1 quart fois 4 et 1 quart. Et le plastique est 4 par 5. OK? So, these are good for, for your smaller stamp sets, your smaller die sets, excuse me. And then they want you to put your clear stamp set inside as well. Hmm. I wonder how much it stretches. I guess you can put your stamps in there too. Huh. Interesting concept, Hero. So, voilà, un paquet de 10, 30, 75, 30, 75, and 24, 95 for a package of 10 of the smaller ones, okay? So, depending how you organize your dies, those are two new items that came in. Then we have Kiss Me, I'm Irish. So, yes. Uh, that would go beautiful with Emerald City. As I said, look at that. That's a match made in heaven. Okay. Voila. So this one is called Pot of Gold. Pot of Gold. Okay. A Splendid Steampunk. Now this is by Reminisce. Ça, c'est une compagnie qui fait des choses, normalement, à uh, des thèmes. So, hang on, hang on. Um, I can't get this open. Okay. Then we just got in an organizer as well. This is the Karen Buddy Bag, is it? Yeah, yeah it's Karen. With it's the, the right. Donc, cela s'appelle Crazy for Card Making Organizer. So you get a Karen Buddy Bag. You get a full together plastic insert box, which is what organizes everything inside. You get double sided sticky die storage cards so they are not magnetic so 
comme collant sur les deux côtés. Um, five stamp storage pockets. And then five self-adhesive tabs. Okay. So, I don't know where this opens. But you know what? I'm going to probably put one together and then I'll show it to you once it's put together so you'll understand it. Let's go back to Splendid Steampunk. Donc, voila. These are what these papers look like. Okay. So, ma, they are matte, but they are big images. I am not sure if they make this in a six by six. Okay. But these are l'engrenage et incroyable. Uh, the one I showed Suzanne is the snowfall. Here we go. She put them with 49. She told me she put 49 and mark it all together. Okay. Then we've got celle-ci. And this looks like rust on the back. Beautiful, rusty. Okay. And then we've got this one. Okay. Nancy, did you step away and go actually fondle your paper? Look at this. You just touch it, and especially if it's textured. Donc, très, très joli. Et on reçoit un collant avec qui nous donne un alphabet. Il nous donne des coins de photo ou des coins de page. Ceux-là, c'est des petits embellissements, OK? Collants. Then here we've got all sorts of different stickers. Donc, chacun de ceux-là, deux bordures, sont des collants. OK? Tout ça vient dans le paquet qui s'appelle Splendid Steampunk. OK? Uh, then this one is an embossing powder by Nouveau. It's the one that Francine had used on those perfume bottles. There's gold and like thick, thick and thin particles that melt to give you this yummy gold. Um, how do you describe it? It's, it kind of looks smooth, but yet textured. Okay. Donc, très, très, très joli. And then last but not least, Simon's newest release, for those of you who watched his video, il a fait son mandala. So this is Simon's newest release, his mandala. And then this is his stencil that goes with the mandala. So he did show, and I will go watch, re-watch the release and maybe show you some techniques with it. Mais il a montré des façons de le masquer puis fait des différentes techniques avec le mandala puis le pochoir. Then it's his birthday candles. Comme toujours, vous pouvez faire juste une ligne de chandelle si vous voulez. Aussi, il a fait son pochoir que vous, en deux, je pense que ça c'est en deux morceaux pour que vous pouvez faire de, un fond de chandelle facilement. OK? So, voilà. Okay. Then we have this Moroccan tile background. This one is beautiful. Oh, I bet this stamp's amazing. Really. Um, can you turn the volume down, please? Then we have this beauty. Okay. Now, this is going to have matching dyes. Maintenant, c'est Spellbinders qui fait les dyes qui match. Puis ça va avoir des dyes qui match eux autres. Je l'ai commandé, mais j'attends ma commande de Spellbinders. OK. So beautiful, beautiful. Then here is the birthday, the birthday one. OK. And yeah, 
Simon doesn't put anything on the back either. Les cadeaux, le gâteau, bring on the cake. Et comme j'ai dit, quand uh, Simon a fait son introduction à tout ça, il vous montre des techniques pour ça. So here we've got succulents. Et encore, vous pouvez étamper ceux-là, puis ajouter la couleur avec la deuxième étampe. Étampe ceux-là, mettre de l'encre sur ça vert, puis étamper dessus. So it's a good way to just color in your image if you don't think you're a colorer. You could also play with different colors. Donc, il ne faut pas mettre juste un couleur sur ton fleur ou ton uh, cactus. Vous pouvez mettre deux teintes de vert, puis étamper. Tu peux mettre deux, trois teintes, comme vous voulez, puis l'étamper. Et si vous voulez un look plus aquarelle, vous pouvez aussi faire un push-push d'eau avant de l'étamper. OK? So, there goes that. That is beautiful. And that is everything we have for you today. Um... I know we're all anxiously waiting for Vicky's stuff. And um, I'm working as hard as I can to get it released. Okay? Oh, yes. And don't forget the mystery color. Tim announced a mystery color is coming out next Saturday. Uh, yes, we will have updates next week on Maker Mania. Uh, Vicky is going to be here. It should have been here. I'm sorry. It just, unfortunately, there's paperwork. There's all sorts of stuff. So, um, but anyways, the mystery color for Tim for next week is up and you can pre-order it. Uh, we do not have the color. Nobody knows the color except probably Mr. Tim and the people creating it. Uh, but, oh, we, I know everybody has their wishes, a beautiful pink. A lot of people want yellow. On ne sait pas c'est quoi la couleur, mais si vous connaissez tout de suite que vous aimez acheter toutes les couleurs de Tim. Uh, oh, okay, there's that too. OK, thanks, Leah. Donc, ça, c'est... Uh, vous pouvez le faire votre précommande. OK. How, a lot of you have followed Deanna's classes and have taken Deanna's classes with us. Monday at 12.45, midi 45. OK. Deanna va être en, sur, en direct sur notre Facebook pour faire une annonce, 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 pour faire une annonce de un cours exclusif, OK? So, yes, tomorrow's Valentine's Day and Easter with Tim. Next week is his color. So, if you like to take Deanna's classes, 12.45 on Monday, Definitely stay tuned. We are one of the lucky ones who are partaking in her new class. So we will open registration when she does, okay? So stay tuned. She's been showing sneaky peeks. You'll get to see and know more on Monday at midi 45 sur la page Facebook Scrapbook Centrale. So... Monday at 12.45 on Facebook, right here, Scrapbook Central. You can get all the information. Okay? Donc, merci tout le monde. Une très bonne fin de semaine à vous tous. Maker Mania, bientôt, on va avoir la date sortie, France. Okay? Donc, merci à tout le monde. Puis, une bonne, je vous souhaite une bonne fin de semaine. I wish you all a very good weekend. And I'll see you back here Monday at 12.45, and then at 4 o'clock. Have a good one, guys. Bye.